Eh, fufu na bin, nyo fufu na bin. Eh, fufu ye be. And the soup is tilapia with seafood light soup. Kwee. <laughs> My husband tried fufu for the very, very first time. Served with this tilapia light soup and seafood made with lots of love and ingredients in their freshest form. Friends, let's jump in. I have four tomatoes in there, one red bell pepper seeded with the core removed, one habanero chili, and I just added two Fresno chilies. And I'm thinking of the color and the presentation in the end. So I had that in mind when I picked my ingredients, all right? So I've added one large red onion and a handful of parsley to bring that aromatic quality. And I've also added about a thumb-sized ginger, and now I'm going to be adding the green part of the scallions. Also bringing that grassy aromatic quality is gonna be perfect. I've added some hot water, and these are going to get boiled to tenderize on the stove. Just when the tomatoes skin cracks, I'm going to turn the, the stove off and blend them into a puree. While that's happening, friends, I am going to work on the rest of the ingredients. So I have some more ginger and the white part of the scallions I've cut up and they're all going into the blender. And this blend will become a marinade for our seafood and tilapia. Here are some garlic cloves followed by some dry rosemary some anise seeds, crushed white pepper, smoked shrimp powder, salt, fresh green habanero chili, adding some water, and we're going to blend this till very smooth. And I'm going to add a surprise but important ingredient, yes, caramelized onions. Yes, caramelized onions are must have in this recipe and they are guaranteed to bring you that layer of very well developed flavor that will literally make your mouth water. And here are my fresh tilapia cleaned and soaked in some ginger juice so they smell great. And I've cut them also into my preferred sizes and here are some crab legs. And these crab legs are going to pack that seafood sweetness into the soup. The tilapia could really thrive on that. So yes, now we're pouring our marinade onto it and we're going to make sure everything is perfectly coated. And then we'll leave it on the kitchen counter for a few minutes, maybe 15 if that. And that will give the tilapia especially the chance to soak in the marinade. And now, after 10 minutes, our veggies are perfectly softened. We're going to transfer them into a blender and blend them till very smooth. Friends, if you've never tried fresh parsley or even dry parsley in your brothy soup, such as our Ghanaian light soup, especially the kind that has tilapia in it, friends, I am urging you, Sister Madame is encouraging you to try that next time you will be very thrilled. It is a great ingredient because it brings an aromatic quality that really complements, especially that tilapia flavor. And now I have this chili garlic oil derived from a previous recipe and I'm pouring in about a tablespoon of it, which I'm going to use to begin developing the soup base. So here is some tomato paste, a heaping tablespoonful. This will help with the eventual flavor as well as the color, the presentation of the soup. All right. We want it to have a rich color. So this in combination with the fresh ingredients we boiled will be just perfection. I cook that for about two to three minutes. All right. Until they kind of separate just like that, just cooking out that 
acidic flavor of the tomato paste. Now I've poured in our blended ingredients. I'm going to rinse out the blender with the broth we got from boiling the fresh vegetables. And then we'll add that to the pot. And now we have the perfect soup base, which smells incredibly delicious. And look at how silky smooth it is. And let's not forget about that color. It is screaming stunning. Yes, it's perfect. And now we haven't added any seasoning, so I add some salt. And this is the point where you also want to go in with your stock cubes, a vegetable stock cube or even a chicken stock cube will be perfect in here. And I tasted it and it was just right. And you want it to continue to simmer and come to a boil. Then you'll go in with the crabs first so that the crabs will start exchanging its flavors with the soup and sweeten it up and give it that seafood quality. Mm. Next thing we wanna do is remove the tilapia pieces from the marinade because the marinade is gonna go in and join the pot now because if you think of it this marinade is not cooked and we want to cook it and we sure don't want to waste it so i pour all of that in there and i also rinse the marinating bowl with about a cup full of water and add it the amount of water you add at this stage is all dependent on you what you want how brothy you want your soup to be i want it to be light but not too thin all right so i add just enough water about a cup it went a long way to help with that all right so that's perfect stir that in and you're going to now bring this soup to a rolling boil just like this now we're going to add our next ingredient which is some oven grilled mackerel friends all i did was add some salt to these mackerel pieces which i cut into steak pieces and i'm going to add a few in here and i grilled them till they were almost dehydrated they are delicious friends Ooh. so just think of the next layer of flavor this is bringing mm. so mouth-watering so good all right, so we're going to keep this boiling after adding the mackerel for about the next five minutes before the tilapia goes in. The tilapia is the most delicate ingredient we're adding to this recipe, the, to the soup. So we want it to be one of the last things that go into the broth, all right? And it is going to cook in no time, so it is important that the soup is at a rolling boil. Perfect. Now just gently agitate certain portions of your soup to incorporate the tilapia perfectly. And then let it boil for the next 10 minutes or so. And we're gonna go in with some more aromatics. I have these uh, habanero chilies, the green version. And we're also going to add these miniature sweet peppers which pack more aromatic quality. Oh, bring that peppery taste and aroma it's just so great and then we're going to add our basil finally all right this soup is as good as done friends yes so just let it simmer down for the next two more minutes after adding the the fresh ingredients turn the stove off and be ready to serve it over the fufu now you can have this soup all on its own all right if you want some carbs in it you can even add some potatoes and have it just by itself you can have it over a little bit of rice or just on its own like i said and the fufu is portioned for a man all right that's why we have two pieces in there <laughs> and that's what we do in ghana yes when you're serving a man you show your respect and your love for the man being the head of the family and all all right by giving them two pieces. So my husband is ready to dig in and friends, I am feeling 100% confident that he's going to enjoy this soup.
We'll find out soon enough if he also likes the fufu texture. And friends, my husband is behind the camera right now and he's telling me, show your audience how beautiful the tilapia turned out. Also, I want to learn how to eat fufu properly. So this is me demonstrating to my husband who is watching intensely and learning how to eat fufu. So go in with your two fingers and use them as a pair of scissors and snip off a piece of the fufu and poke a hole into the fufu so that you can scoop the soup with it. And after the first few bites, or let me say swallows, my husband's words were, this is finger licking good, darling. He enjoyed it through Thank and through. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is tough time. And here in Anava's Kitchen, Shop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.